Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to turn line art into a full color image in Photoshop. We have here a rough drawing of a bishop seal, and the task that we have is to color it. So I want black here, gold through these black areas. I want a red here, and I want to fill it with black for now. And that's going to be the extent of what we're going to do in this video. The trick is to isolate all these elements and to color them. So I'm going to start by adding a new layer to this image. And what I want to do is to start isolating the pieces that I want to use. So I'm going to click inside here with the magic wand tool to just grab this middle section. Now I've got a very high tolerance here. I probably don't need so high a tolerance because everything is looking pretty white anyway. So I'm just going to type 10 in here. I'm going to make sure that contiguous is turned on because I only want to select the area inside this black piece here. I'll target this layer and click once. So that's sort of isolated this middle area. So I'm going to go up here onto a new layer. I'm just going to fill it with a color. And it really doesn't matter what color it is for now because we just want to isolate that area. So I'm just going to fill it with a green. And it looks like I have a really low opacity on that layer, so let's turn the layer opacity up so it looks like the green it's supposed to look. Okay, so that's pretty good. We've got that piece isolated. Let's go for this area around the outside. So again, let's go to the magic wand tool back on the original layer, deselect the selection that we've got by pressing Control or Command D, and then just click on the outside here. So that's brought in all this outside area. Let's add a new layer and let's fill it with a color. So let's again go for a different color, Alt Backspace, Option Delete, and then Control or Command D to deselect the selection. So we've got the outside edge and we've got the inside edge here. Let's go now for this area. So again, let's go back to the base layer, click on this white area, add a new layer, and then we'll fill that with another color, just so that we've got all of these pieces isolated and then Control or Command D to deselect the selection. So now if I turn off this bottom layer, let's see what we've got. Well, we've got all the pieces that we want and we've got a nothing in the area where we want the gold color to be. So if we dump a gold layer just below everything else, we're going to have exactly what we want. The other thing we can do is to go and grab this purple layer and just select what's in the middle here. So let's just click here. And that's selecting the entire bishop's mitre sort of area, including all the bits behind these blue and green areas. So now if I go and create a new layer, let's just add it just above the bottom layer and let's fill it with a color. And it's filling in those areas. Now it's filling this area in really neatly, but it might be a little bit of a push in this area here. We might find that we've got some pixels that are just not filling in correctly. So if that's the case, I'm just going to get rid of this layer and we're going to try again. So we'll go back to this purple layer. We're going to make our selection in the middle of the purple layer so that we select this bishop mitre area. And we're just going to increase that selection a little bit. Let's go to select and then Modify and Expand. We want it to get a little bit bigger, and we're just going to take it a little bit bigger by, say, five pixels. And now let's add our new layer and fill it. So I want the new layer to be at the bottom of this stack, and I'm going to fill it with Alt Backspace Option Delete. Now, because the layer filled with this orangey color is just a smidgen bigger than the gap, we're going to make sure that we have a perfect edge. So these pixels are going to go all the way up to the edge, and there's not going to be any white there at all. And so now we're ready to do our recoloring job because we've separated the colors from each other. So let's go back to this purple layer, and we want it to be black. So I'm going to click here to lock down the pixels on this layer. I'm going to press the letter D so I get my default colors. I'm just going to do Alt Backspace because that's going to fill it with black. I'm going to also then deselect that icon so I can make sure that I can work on that layer in future. Now this area was going to be black as well. So again, let's target this. Let's make it locked down, Alt Backspace to fill it with black. So now let's look at the area that we want to be gold. And this is the area we want to be gold. It's the sort of red areas. So we're going to lock these pixels down. 
And to fill it with gold, well, we could go and get a sort of gold color here, but why don't we go and get a gradient? So I'm going to click on the gradient tool here and open up the gradient panel. Now there are a lot of golds that you can use and they're already available inside Photoshop. So just click on this icon if you're not seeing these metallics here and just go down and open up your metals gradient because these metals can be used to approximate gold. So I'm going to select one of these and then I'm just going to dump it into this red shape here. So I'm going to make sure that I've, well I'll use a linear gradient for a start. Let's lock down the pixels. We've got the layer selected and let's just dump this gradient in. And that's giving us our sort of gold effect and we can drop it in on an angle if we want to. This is just filling this pixel layer so you can continue to apply that gradient until you get it looking the way you want it to. Now you can also double click on the gradient and you can improve it. So if you wanted to, let's just alt drag another stop here and alt drag another stop here. And what I can do is I can actually add a whole lot more color bars to this gradient. So with a little bit of work, we can make it perhaps even more gold than it was before by just adding a lot more of these stripes to the image. Well, stripes to the gradient anyway. So let's just go and I'll just add another one in here. Just spread these out a little bit better. I think I want one more white one down here. So you can just copy them by alt clicking on them and just move them into position and pull them off if you've got too many. So let's just go with that. I'm going to click OK and now let's drop that in. We're going to get a whole lot more of those highlights this time. So I'm actually going to do it on an angle because I think it's going to look a bit better that way. So there's our gold. Let's again unlock that layer in case we want to do something with it later on. And let's go to this blue layer which is a layer that we want to be red. And again we could just drop in a solid red but it's going to look a whole lot nicer if we use a gradient. So I'm just going to go in here and click on the gradients. I'm just going to use this gradient, this red to green gradient. Not because I particularly want it but because it's halfway to what I do want. So I've got the red, I just don't want this green. So I'm just going to click here and let's go and get a darker red. And so this is a pretty good gradient for what I want. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to use this gradient here. Again, locking down this layer and just filling it. I'm actually a little bit more convinced that I'm going to do it this way now. So let's just move that across. Let's duplicate this one. Let's just put the lightness in the middle and the darks on the ends ourselves. And let's go back and do a linear gradient. So there's a better result. I've got dark at the top, dark at the bottom and lighter around the edge and I've got this sort of metallic look. So that's one way that you can take a line drawing of something like this that you get from the internet and break it into pieces. Start out by just breaking it into its component pieces and don't worry too much about the colors. Just color it something so that you get the identifiable layers. And once you've finished breaking up the layers and you've got something that you can actually work with, then you can worry about coloring the individual layers. And this lock icon here, this little transparency lock icon is your next best friend because it allows you to have a layer that has some pixels filled, some pixels transparent. You can lock them down so that you're only filling the filled pixels and you can dump any color or any gradient in on top. So there's a way of turning a line art image into a colored art image using Photoshop. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.